Are you noticing strange blobs at the base of your oak trees? It could be oak bracket fungus, a common issue for oak trees that causes decay of roots and the base of the tree and decline of the tree over time. In this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about oak bracket fungus, what it is, what it looks like, what it's doing to your tree and how you can help your trees. Oak bracket fungus is caused by the fungus Inonotus dryatus. And most of the year, you're not gonna see anything with this fungus because the fungus is growing below ground in the roots of trees and in the base of the tree underneath the bark. In the late spring and early summer though, it's gonna produce these fruiting bodies that um, might not look like what you think of as a mushroom. You know, they're lumpy, they have this irregular form, but are the mushrooms of this fungus, they are the part of fungus that makes the spores and spreads it and is also really distinctive for identification. But it's important to know that anytime you see these things, what you're not seeing is a bigger fungal body that's impacting the health of whatever tree it's growing on or near. These um, oak bracket fungi can look a bit like a marshmallow that was put in the microwave. Um, they're going to grow over and around things in their way, like leaves and grass, incorporating them into their big blob-like structure. And they can be huge, you know, taking up several feet around the base of the tree or going all around the base of the tree. They can also be variable in color, and this can change over time. So when these first emerge in the late spring, um, they might be this light, uh, creamy color, um, potentially even having this liquid on the surface that's going to have a yellow or orange color to it. The underside might have some tiny pores with a light color, but over time, this is going to change and they're going to become darker with age. So they might go from that creamy tan color to more of a brown color. Um, and by the time you get into the late fall or winter, you might just see crumbly um, black remnants of these fruiting bodies at the base of the tree. Um, it'll look very different, but you'll still have some of it there. They don't last um all that long, but they do last for several months and kind of decay over time. So you do have this large window of time when you can see them. So where do you find these things? Well, as the name implies, uh, oak bracket fungus, um, typically you're going to find them on the base of oak trees, but sometimes you might see them on other species as well. I most frequently see them on red oaks, especially common in landscape settings on stressed trees that have already been compromised and had their health kind of damaged for something else, whether it's construction or mower damage or something um, that is making these trees weakened and more susceptible to this and other issues. So this fungus is a parasite and it's feeding off of the wood of living trees. And that can damage trees in several ways. First, you might notice some general canopy decline. Maybe the leaves aren't looking as green, they're not looking as healthy, and the canopies aren't as full. Um, part of that is going to be because the root system is compromised. It's not uh, taking up water and nutrients as well as it should be because it's got this um, fungus causing decay in it. Um, and this is something that it might unfold over many years. You might notice um, the canopy just not looking as good little by little over time, maybe the death of a branch here and there, um, decline over time, not something that's going to happen all of a sudden in one season. Um, but another thing that this fungus is doing is it's causing decay. It's decaying the wood at the base of the tree. So um, oak bracket fungus is a white rot fungus that breaks down the lignin in wood, and it leaves behind this kind of lighter colored um, wood that's going to be crumbly and not as structurally sound. Um, as a result, 
that's that could be potentially be an issue as well because it might result in the failure of the tree. So not only do you not have the roots there, um, you know, anchoring the tree as well as they should, um, you could get uh, the tree tipping over or you could get the tree cracking and breaking um, there at the base, uh, potentially damaging uh, people or property if that were to happen. Um, now, there are a lot of other fungi that can look uh, similar and can cause similar damage to trees. Um, here is a picture of a Ganoderma fungus. Uh, also, you know, it doesn't quite look like a mushroom as you think of it. It's got these hard conks at the base of the tree. And you can see in this picture how much decay is present there. Um, certainly, that tree is being negatively impacted. Not only is its probably struggling because it doesn't have access to all the roots that it should have, but structurally um, a failure risk potentially there as well. Um, and there are lots of others. Another common one in our area would be our malaria root rot, um, causing uh, decay to the roots and the base of the tree. This is another one that, um, you know, most of the time you're not going to see it, but in the fall, it's going to produce these mushrooms. Um, we call those mushrooms honey mushrooms, but really uh, they are the mushrooms of a pathogen that causes disease in trees. Another thing you might look for are these black shoestring-like structures that this fungus produces. Um, you'll typically see them kind of between the bark and the wood. Uh, that's a part of that fungal structure, and it actually gives this fungus another common name, shoestring root rot. Um, that if you see this, uh, you might not see the mushrooms, but if you see this, you know you might have an issue with our malaria. There are lots of other fungi um, that can cause rot, and they're all doing the same thing. They're all taking advantage of some wounding or um, condition where uh, the bark is keeping them out, and they've gotten into the wood of that tree, the roots of that tree, and are breaking down um, that wood and absorbing the nutrients there, uh, causing decay in the tree. Anytime you see a fungus or a mushroom coming directly out of a tree or out of the wood or out of the base of the tree, it's a, it's a sign of some decay there. While there are fungi that can have beneficial relationships with tree and mycorrhizae's, uh, mycorrhizae, um, the ones that are going to be around the base of the tree like this are probably causing decay. So what can you do about um, this issue or any other, you know, root rot issue? Well, first, um, unfortunately, there's no treatment for infected trees that's going to be terribly effective um, because of the way that these fungi are uh, killing healthy tissue, um, the fungicide that you might try to use is not going to be effectively transported to where they're growing. Um, instead, what you can do for trees that are already infected is, is you can promote their health and approve, improve their natural ability to fight back and prolong their lives. Even things that might seem minor, like watering trees when it's really hot and dry out, maybe during a drought, can really improve the ability of trees to fight off um, this infection and others. Um, something like mulching can be really beneficial as well for creating the right conditions around the base of trees. And it does something else which is really important, and that's preventing damage to the base of the tree and to the roots. While that doesn't necessarily solve the problems once you have a tree that already has this issue, um, the best bet for preventing er, avoiding any kind of root rot issues is to prevent wounding to the base of trees because fungi will take advantage of even small wounds, an opportunity to get past the defenses of the tree, get past that bark and into the wood of the tree. And there are lots of different fungi that if they find themselves there uh, will happily grow and um, cause decay issues. So uh, what you can do about that is taking steps to prevent that wounding. So things like mulching to prevent conflict with mowers or string trimmers, um, even those little nicks can be surprisingly damaging. Um, if you are doing any kind of construction around the base of the tree or having vehicles drive around there, that can compact the 
roots and the root zone of the tree in really negative ways. So making sure to protect trees from that kind of damage. Um, and then another thing to consider is the fact that if you see a tree like this one in this picture here, there's probably a lot of decay um, internal in that tree. And it may pose a, a an unacceptable risk in terms of what would happen if that tree fails. But it really depends on how much decay is present and what would happen if it were to fail. And um, it's something that I'd recommend you reach out to an arborist about if you have questions. There are trained professionals who have um, uh, experience dealing with tree risk assessment, um, as well as um, people who are certified by the Professional Body for Arborists, the International Society of Arboriculture, um, that you can contact who can not only come and look at your tree, um, see what's happening with it, but also perhaps take some steps to improve the health of that tree or deal with potentially risky issues. In this tree, you can see an arborist who is using a device to assess how much sound wood is in that tree um, to better determine how big of a risk it poses. So thanks for joining me today and learning a little bit more about oak bracket fungus. Um, if you have more questions, um, please reach out uh, to your county extension office or a knowledgeable arborist and um, be on the lookout for this and other issues that are impacting the health of your trees.